This part is... This part is contradictory. It contradicts this piece of evidence. This ship is confectionery! How sweet! Otherwise, we can board the ship and sail down the Chocolate River. What an <gasps> unpleasant dismissal. Come with Let's me. Let's calm down and inspect the crime scene once more. It feels like something that was here before, isn't he? Did I? I still missed it. No, no, it's not. It's not the because it's not. It's the, the wrong no. evidence. It's, oh no, my it's, god! It's not the. Why are you clicking? What the fuck? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That's the like, fourth time. No, it's not the ring. The answer. It's not the ring, Daniel. It's it's something a little more obvious oh. than the ring. The body. You can look at the crime scene notes. Look at the crime scene notes again. Oh, you can't see the full- Oh, wait, go to- Yeah, there we go. Oh. Also, the ring was there in the first place. Oh. Daniel. What? There's a, there's a very obvious thing that's missing. The blood? She wants to be her back. Okay, look look at the... It seems like the blood was dug out. Yeah, there you go. Are you serious? Because I noticed that, but I was like, no, yeah. they probably just removed it because they had to clean it. God Why damn would it. they do that? I don't know. Why would they do that? I don't know. <laughs> Fucking detectives have their ways. <laughs> Is this spot somehow connected to any of the evidence I hold? Eureka! Oh, wait. Yeah, see, that is proceed. Eureka! Yeah, like Are you sure the only thing the only thing the police removed from the crime seems the body? Uh, they took away the piece of cloth the body was wrapped in. In that case, a major contradiction has been created at the crime scene. Uh, contradiction? Detective Bad, please look at the crime scene carefully once more. The bloodstain that should have remained at the crime scene has disappeared. What the fuck? I definitely didn't get any reports about the bloodstain being cleaned up. Oh, he's like good though. I'll check with the uh, foreskin. What? Mr. Edgeworth, what up? No. Mr. Edgeworth, what happened? That fits. Comparing the photo in the crime scene, something struck me as being out of place. In the photo, the chocolate, under the chocolate underneath the body remained in intact inside the treasure chest. However, in the actual crime scene, it's missing. The chocolate with the blood stain completely vanished. Yes. Did the police re remove it, or was this the work of the criminal? According to forensics, no one has cleaned up any blood stains. I see. Well, that would mean someone erased the blood stain. Who knows? Crime scene notes. Well, I guess we can investigate something something else. We. Perhaps this is one of the murder weapons. Elegant tableware and cookware are placed on the counter. It looks like the same tea set Miss Hall was using earlier. Was Master Jeff, was Master Jeff drinking the black tea? On this tea set, only Jeff Master's fingerprints were found. Were his fingerprints found on any of the other cookware? The cookware was washed. Nobody's fingerprints remain. Or he might have been, or he might have been cooking with gloves on. It seems the only thing here with his fingerprints is the tea set. Oh. That's uh. How do you talk to that guy over there? What was this? A hibachi chef? <laughs> what does that even mean? I don't even know what that means. Hibachi? You don't know what hibachi is? Uh, it's not familiar. I'm not familiar with it. Uh, hibachi is like okay, you know those Japanese restaurants where they have like the giant grill and then oh! they, they do tricks and then they, oh, you know, okay, people yeah, yeah. get to watch them. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Excuse me, but you are? You take this guy. Look at him. Okay. <laughs> My apologies. I was meditating. What did you ask, sir? Detective? I think he's Russian, actually. Oh, what? Are you really? He looks Russian. Okay, okay, never mind. That's Russian to me. 
Actually, I'm a defense attorney. My name is Gregory Edgeworth. I'm his assistant, Raymond. Oh, I thought I was his assistant. My name is Dan <laughs> Gustav. Welcome back. I am one of the police machines <laughs> participating in this contest. <laughs> That's a really good voice. That's a really good voice. Is it's it? Awesome. <laughs> That's so it's, good. Is it supposed to be a Russian accent? Yeah, it's a yeah. Wait, yeah. Them. <laughs> It's Russian. Okay. <laughs> what kind of desserts do you make, Mr. Gustavia? <laughs> oh. oh. My dad be like... <laughs> My special is making the zero out of candy. Oh. Oh, the, what a cute seahorse! It was meant to be a dragon dancing in the sky. Oh. Eh, this is a dragon. I think it would fit better with the ocean rather than the sky. <laughs> you become shaggy for a second. <laughs> yeah, he did. Dragon. <laughs> he turned into the best. Oh, he, he looked scared. I know all too well that, this, that design is my weak point. I plan to study design and undergo training at Zeng Fa once things settle down here. I probably shouldn't touch the subject of design any further. Mr. Gustavia, if you aren't related to the investigation, why are you in this room? Sir so Detective wanted to know more about the desserts in this room, so he asked me to come. Since he's one of the contestants, he might know something. Mr. Gustavia, those instruments you use are quite unusual. Chicken. These instruments are called candy pumps, and they pump air into the candy. What? 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 This welcome to Daniel. Fuck you. What? They kind of look like swords, they're so cool! Indeed, ever since I began losing them, no day has gone by when I didn't receive a burn or a wound. That's why I wear red clothes, so that not a single stain will ever show on me. Fuck, this is hard. Making desserts a serious <laughs> business, I am always trained. <laughs> Does he injure himself because he hasn't trained enough? Can you tell me about the the great dessert contest that was held here. From the looks of this room, it seems that desserts weren't just for eating. The exhibition Sir Master held was a contest in the art of dessert. The art of dessert? Desserts that are true works of art, made solely out of edible materials. The works of art of this room are all made from desserts. Huh. Now that you mention it, the whole room is filled with a smell of chocolate. Sir Master exhibits great talent in both flavor and design. If you are not to surpass Sir Master in flavor and design, you will not be able to win. Hmm, beating the world's greatest pastry chef is pretty hard, isn't it? In other words, if I can surpass Sir Master, I shall become the world's greatest pastry chef. That was the prize of this contest. The prize is the title of the world's greatest? In addition to that, there is, sir, there is also Sir Master Threshold Angel's Recipe. If you want to learn more about the contest, just look at this piece of paper. These were the rules that were given to the participants of the contest. No! Fuck, why, does it the oh. why is it on the first and not the second? Oh. What? <laughs> what the frick? <laughs> <laughs> no! He made a chicken! He made okay. a chicken! I know, he, he, he did make a chicken. What else do you? Sorry, but I do not know much about the incident. I only learned about the incident after the judging had finished. How was the contest judging carried out? Let's see. Sir Master would start judging at 3 p.m. Starting from my room, the judging proceeded in a clockwise direction. Oh. Whee! I used to look to the right of Sir Master's room, which is the room we're in now. Watch, there's gonna be a hidden passage. <laughs> I, I can already tell. Next, the room of the, of the female pastry chef named Delicia was judged. A female pastry chef? What kind of person is she? 
Now, 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 you have a son to take care of, Gregory. <laughs> She's a frightening woman who would do anything to achieve her goal. I heard she used lots of cream to make a fantasy team dessert. And lastly, Sir Dover's room was judged. He's worked with frozen statues made from sherbet. Batman! Paul discovered the body in the middle of Gustavus judging! <laughs> oh! <laughs> so aggressive! She bad because she immediately notified the police. Master continued judging without knowledge that the body had been discovered. As a result, Master judged Dover's room in Dover's absence. Uh, uh, it seems we have plenty of room to suspect, Master. I'm lacking information. It's probably too late to object. By the way, De Detective Bad, what were you talking to Mr. Gustavi about earlier? I was asking him about the chocolate frame hanging from that wall. I thought... Something was, uh, missing. I thought I asked someone who knew a lot about desserts. I could get an answer. Although, thanks to your arrival, I still haven't gotten, uh, my answer yet. Well then, since you've been waiting for so long, we can ask him about it right now. I guess you don't understand sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gustavia, can you assist us with this matter? I train in the art of desserts every day. If you have a question about desserts, please do not hesitate to ask. Thank you very much. Uh huh. <laughs> it's funny to me. It's it's good. It's just funny. The no, it's, it's a funny. I don't. I know real Russians don't talk like that. That's like that's like the Americanized comical version of the Russian accent. <laughs> it's like a Latina. You can make such a beautiful picture out of chocolate! I can even draw it on an iPad! As expected of Master Jeff! <laughs> Is this really chocolate? It looks like an actual picture to me. Impressive, Sir Attorney. You noticed well. This picture of an angel is not a dessert, but rather the angel's recipe. The angel's recipe? The prize for the contest. Uh oh, these pictures are made of chocolate? Indeed, within this chocolate frame lies a recipe book. Sir Master told everyone when he explained to the rules of the contest it was in this room. So the contestants knew the recipe was here. Come on, this frame, don't you think it's missing something? This must be what Detective Bad was asking Mr. Gustavia about earlier. This chocolate frame there. Does this seem to there does seem to be a part that's missing? That's what's been bothering me as well! Aw, what's missing? Let me show Raymond the part of the chocolate frame that's missing. Oh, the ring, the, uh, like, the ring. What ring? Not the ring, like, um, oh, never mind, never mind. Also this. Oh, yeah, that, and there's that, also a bunch that. of fingerprints here. Yeah. Take that! I thought maybe we could, we could use whatever we found next to the body, so I was like, eh. Yeah. Look closely at this part with the decorations. Can you see that one of them is missing? It's true! It's different from the other decorations. Hmm, this imperfect balance of the decorations is not like Sir Master. On closer examination, it seems this frame is not the only one with missing parts. We need to investigate further. I'm Batman. <laughs> Hi, Batman. All the desserts in this room each have one part missing. Mm. Whoa, the candle holder was the selling tools are all damaged as well. So someone tampered with the crime scene? Perhaps. Maybe Master vandalized the room himself to fool us. Master Jeff wouldn't do that sort of thing uh, to his desserts? Tamper desserts. I wonder if they are connected to the incident. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking looking cranny. Uh, I take it back. I think it's uh, the Russian guy that is the killer. Why? What? Because... 
But he's Russian. I don't know. I just, he's a funny I guy. I every he's new character. Funny. I just... I just suspect every new character. Plus, maybe he was feeling a little bit uh, insecure because uh, the other one is so cool and nice. I guess, uh, you know. Maybe. Usually, it's just there. Usually, they're just they have inferiority complex, and they're like, "Oh, I feel so insecure next to you." No, yeah, see, so I won't I deny that it could be one of the contestants, especially the the <laughs> second one, the one who said, "You know, she's scary and she'll do anything." Something like that. It could be her. Wait, what? Who? There is a second contestant. Where? Okay, no, never mind. There's a map. There's three contestants, basically. Uh, Stavia, the Russian guy. Dogen. Not Dogen. What's his name? Fuck. What? Dogen? <laughs> Dogen. What's his yes. name? I love, I love, I love baking. Dover. Oh, I love sweets. Dover. <laughs> the guy that was killed. Sweets and then the, there's a third one. The, the woman. These fingerprints are... These are unidentified finger marks. We don't know who these belong to. Since no fingerprints were left behind. Finger marks without fingerprints. These might be related to the case. Huh. Mm. It's a mystery. You was probably wearing gloves. Ah, oh, addictive bud lacks dreams and romance. I don't <laughs> think there are any dreams of romance on a murder scene. Yeah. Uh, uh, achoo! Are you alright? Why is this child sneezing so much? <laughs> Ooh, this room is uh way too cold. <sighs> the fountain patio, patio patio wasn't very warm either. This room certainly is cold. Do you want to wear my coat? Nope, I'm fine. Because that's something that you'd promise to give me when I become a defense attorney. Yeah, oh. That's right. He, he, but he never wore it. He never did. All right, because it was dead. Why is the temperature turned down so low? This can only be my nemesis, Doctor Freeze. <laughs> <laughs> God. It's been thrown Mr. down Freeze, in not order Dr. to Doctor Freeze. <laughs> yeah, so it's not. Yeah. It's been thrown down to in order to maintain the truck's temperature. Why don't you try opening the panel cover on that wall? Wait, isn't Dr. Freeza uh, like European or like, Alright, ice to meet you! Ah! <laughs> yeah, I, 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 is he German? Uh -huh. Are you Dr. Freeze? You're Dr. Freeze! Panel cover. So many Batman villains! Whoa, there's a secret panel hidden there! This control panel is installed in all the rooms Sir Master prepared, so it's not to detract from the dessert's presentation. The cutter was close to conceal it. What does the panel do? Oh, sorry, I forgot that was me. It allows you to change the temperature on the light in the room. In order to preserve any type of dessert, it can go down to about 22 Fahrenheit. The room would be like a freezer. It said a 259F? No wonder I thought it was cold. Detective Bud, I'm not allowed to change the temperature, am I? Get the fuck off! Don't touch it! <laughs> God damn it! Uh, preserving the crime scene is the foundation of being a detective. Uh, but I'm not a detective! A defense exactly. certainly can't, be rec can't recklessly damage a crime scene either. In the answer system, enduring hardship is also part of training. In order to preserve chocolate, 59 degrees Fahrenheit to 64 degrees Fahrenheit is the ideal temperature. <sighs> the ideal temperature for chocolate as expected of a dessert chef. No, it is but a trifle. This is basic knowledge that anyone should know if they're a dessert chef. <sighs> So what's the ideal temperature for candy and fresh cream? As long as you watch out for humidity and not temperatures, candy shouldn't melt. A fresh cream around 50 degrees Fahrenheit is the ideal temperature. You need to watch out for the humidity and hot temperatures for candy. I see. Detective Bud, he seems a bit happy when they were talking about candy. Is candy one of his favorite things? 
No, I don't think it's a it's a huge lollipop he carries around with him every day. No, I don't, I don't think I'm really into that. <laughs> I already checked this area earlier, but it never hurts to take another look. Oh yeah, the missing candle. What is the missing candle? Like Wait, a... did we already did Talk. we already read this? It know. seems this control panel can, can change the, the temperature and the color of the lights in this room. The colors are red, yellow, green, blue, cyan, white. That sure is a lot. Uh huh. <laughs> Wait, did we read this? I did don't we? Remember. I just said the white. Oh no. There's no white light. The chocolate can stand out. For Mr. Master, everything in this room is probably a piece of art. Yeah, that's a. What are these? That's what I. That's what I. Uh. This is a fire alarm. Let me say in advance, that's not a dessert. It's the real deal. <laughs> if you press that on alarm, well sound, and security will be con contacted. Contradicted. Now, Raymond, <laughs> don't get any stupid ideas. Understand the you want to press it, you see what happens, but please restrain yourself. But there, I want to press the red button. No. 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 No, I didn't. I didn't particularly feel like pressing it. That's Raymond you're thinking of. Uh, it's because you're a defense attorney. I don't think being a defense attorney has anything to do with it. See, if I were if I were Phoenix, I'd uh, probably do that. Or if Maya were here, she'd probably press it. <laughs> oh, look, she did once, didn't she? A button. <laughs> you look at the, did you look at the candle there? Not yet. The one thing I asked you to do. <laughs> Never listening to Shaw. Sorry. <laughs> A dessert in the shape of a candle holder, huh? Why don't we try it out? <laughs> it's titled Light of Life. It seems that one of these important lights isn't lit. Is it symbolic or? Oh, that's or... it. Okay, why don't we go to logic? <sighs> logic time. <laughs> Beaten to death. Okay, so under broken temper desserts. Oh yeah, temper desserts. Why the stand is broken? Yeah. Why did I? Hmm. <laughs> Eureka! Each of Mr. Master's works had a piece that was missing. Add to that the fact that the ship's chocolate stand was broken. I think we can surmise that someone miss someone ransacked this room. And one who did it could be the true culprit. That I don't know. But I think it's safe to say that the ship stand got broken when the room was ransacked. And when the ship fell over, it broke the treasure chest lid. I expect that the lid of the treasure chest was originally closed. When you talk to the uh, forensics dudes. <laughs> oh, you can't you can't push them. Can I push I can push bad. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, hey, hey! Stop that! Stop that! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> what are you investigating? So, I'm checking the temperature of the steam. What have you learned? Get his lollipop. So, this stream was in warm water. The stream is connected to the fort fountain at Paseo and runs through every room. It's an unusual construction for a room. This reminds me, the minds of the rich, I'll never understand. I'm totally not a billionaire or anything. <laughs> oh, shit. Totally not a billionaire. Fucking hell. It seems our investigation of this room is just about over. This should make it clear. Jeff Master is the culprit. What? Why? All the rooms in this mansion were locked from the inside. And the only way to open them from the outside was to use this key to the mansion. Do you know who had the key? I did. Master was the only one with the key. There were no spare keys. By using the mansion key, Master could enter all cont contestants' rooms. Of course, the key could also lock his room from the outside. However, Mr. Master's room is currently unlocked. 
Oh, Sim- uh, and what you just said, Simple and I will be there shortly. Very nice. Yeah. yeah it's oh, it's perfect. That's perfect. Really? Oh, I know what's going to happen next, and that's perfect. Okay. Oh, I don't want to spoil but... <laughs> Yeah, that's why I suspect Master is a culprit. I'm excited now. <laughs> I'd like to hear your reasoning in more detail. Hmm. If the body had been found in a locked room, Master would have been the prime suspect. That's why Master made sure to leave the door to his own room unlocked. And to ensure that the body would be seen, Master broke the lid off the treasure chest. After judging, everyone was scheduled to meet in Master's room. That would have created the impression that the murder could have occurred while he was away. Contrary to his expectations, the body was discovered by Miss Hall. That's my reason for suspecting Master. Got that, Ace Attorney? So you also think it was Mr. Master himself who vandalized this room? Yeah, pretty much. You defense attorneys believe that the justice lies in trusting your clients, but I'm a detective. If I believe every poor sap story, I'd let the suspicions get away. The suspicious ones get away. I understand your reasoning thoroughly. However, I'd like to hear your- I'd, I'd like you to hear my thoughts on the subject now. Ah, fine! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Detective Bad believes that he's right, but I won't give up so easily. I can't accept his reasoning. I'll have to show him evidence the fuck that, not, that I'm contradicts Batman. it. Why the fuck not? Rebuttal. Rebuttal. And hey, this is a present thingy. No, he did not. Wait. But what's our evidence for that? Well, we do have evidence that his only okay. These are the only thing with this. This is the only thing with his fingerprints on it. So HD, so beautiful. Look at it. Right. Oh my God. Okay, what's what's written so, on the bottom? What's written on the bottom. Oh yeah. Wait. Look at the Daniel, bottom, Daddy. Daniel, what's written on the bottom? Can, can. Oh. F.H., huh? There's an engraving on that bottom that says F.H. P.H. Just like the coin. It's the initials of, it's the, initials of the creator, Pierre Hoquet. Miss Hall, mm. Hall and Mr. Master seem to be big fans of the sculpture's works. Initials, huh? If it were mine, it'd be R.S. Racist! Why don't you try carving your initials on your own belongings? Well, that seems to be it. I think that's the object that was hit, like, like that hit him over the head. Hmm. It would make sense that would be the object of the murder. 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 Pressing him on the head for the body. But he didn't break it. Oh wait. Before the, the ship's fall, the tunnel was closed. So this proves that the ship was the one that broke the treasure chest, not Master. Yeah. Yeah. Objection! You hear that? It's Pro ZD? Yeah, it's Pro ZD. <laughs> I, I fucking love his voice. Originally, the victim's body was hidden inside the chocolate treasure chest. Miss Hall entered the room when she heard the sound. I think it is likely that this was the sound of the chocolate ship falling over. Yeah, that's what you would think, just by looking at the crime scene. You said that Mr. Master broke the treasure chest lid himself. But this photo shows that the, that the ship's fall caused the lid to break. If the lid broke just before Miss Hall found the body, then Mr. Master, who was in the middle of judging, could not have broken it. I never said Master broke the lid directly! The ship was set to fall during the judging! I'm gonna leave you tampering with the stand. 
Objection! Do you have proof that he tampered with it? No, but the investigation isn't completely over yet. It seems they still haven't found anything conclusive. Have you found any other fingerprints other than Mr. Masters in this room? Yeah, there, there were uh, some left on the door. Yeah. But the victim Dover and Master were also among the fingerprints found the fine. Before we made our desserts, we all gathered here to have the judge judging explained to us. Perhaps that was when we left those fingerprints. But you didn't find any fingerprints on the works in this room? What? Someone tampered with the chocolate in this room. So perhaps there are other fingerprints on it, apart from Mr. Masters. Uh, uh, no matter what we find, it won't clear Mr. Master of suspicion. Labby, hurry up and dust chocolate for fingerprints! Roger that, roger that, sir. Roger, roger. Detective Bud. Wait, what is Raymond doing? What is Ray doing? Do you see that? <laughs> he's mad. Put your hands in the air. Put your hands in the air. We found out about his fingerprints on all the chocolates in the room. Whose fingerprints? They belong to the best of shape in the name of Dalsia. I knew it. Did there needs to be justice here. Good work returning the investigation. Yes, sir. It would seem that there are other suspicious people besides Mr. Master, after all. Uh, I don't need a defense attorney to tell me that I'm not stopping my investigation. We will just go and listen to what this Delicia has to say. Delicia, Gustavia told us about her not long ago. Is she really a frightening woman who would do anything to achieve her goal? Mr. Edgeworth, the... the... the Dahlia? What is it? Delicia. Delicia. Like delicious? Yeah, like delicious. <laughs> delicious ladies. Mr. Edgeworth, the delicious lady, uh, sounds mighty <laughs> suspicious to me. Raymond, don't call her delicious. You're only, uh... How old is he? 18. Okay, that's I'm not 18. too bad. I'm 18! I'm legal! <laughs> he still hasn't gone through puberty, though. <laughs> it seems that it will be necessary for us to speak with her directly as well. Detective I'm like, Ash, catch him! I don't grow <laughs> Would you allow us to, to accompany you? No! I'm not obligated to do that. What? But we asked nicely. But you are the one who discovered the truth of the crime scene. Fine, have it your way. Follow me. Detective Bad. Thank you. Uh, Yo, Edward's, Edward's dad got a really nice face for old man. Yeah, right? <laughs> How old is he? How old is he? Actually, I don't think he's that old. How old is he? Oh, I, I don't think he's there. I don't think he's check. They did not bud, sir. You know, you can't, you can't see yourself in your own, uh... Yeah, you can. Aww. Uh, are you sure about that? Right now, that prosecutor is in that room. Doesn't matter. Him and I don't see eye to eye. I fucking hate him. Oh. Yeah, you and me both, detective. Him? Who's that prosecutor in charge of the case anyway? Watch, it's gonna be Manfred von Karma. Manfred von Karma. <laughs> and so when I said it. Uh, ah! Von Karma is in charge? Did he bring his daughter? That guy has no. a daughter. No. 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 Ray? Ray, she's 13. <laughs> no, not even. Wait, wait, wait. No! I'm assuming, assuming like... No. no, she's like two. She's like two. She's like two. Oh, oh. Yeah, because like Miles oh. is like, what, seven? Oh my god. Oh. Manfred von Karma, the living legend of the prosecutor's office, if the rumors of his courtroom performance are to be believed, he's a man who would do anything for a guilty verdict. No matter what kind of prosecutor he is, I can only hold true to the path I believe in. And we'll see you guys, guys next, next time! time. Uh, Watch, three, two, one. They're gonna join, they're gonna join in three, two, one. 
Okay, it didn't happen. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> All right.